I'm a developer running out of time. Help! There's so much to do, not enough hours in the day, and my boss is breathing down my neck. I know the kind of code I need. Just gotta finish these two methods, add some more comments, wrap up a couple of tests, then I can breathe easy this weekend. Maybe enjoy a board game. But something about this syntax is bugging me. It's been a while since I used this framework. Let's get Gemini to help out. I'm already in my IDE using Cloud Shell Editor today, so I can do anything from any computer I happen to have with me. Normally, I'd spend more time reading and digesting the code, probably looking over the existing documentation, maybe even put some time on the calendar of the tech lead or the original author. But those folks are out of the office all month, and my deadline is today. So I need something, now. How is I going to do it? Machine learning. Let's make sure Gemini is ready to help. I'll check for the right icon on the bottom left, on the bottom right, and the left menu. All good. So I can now ask for coding help or generation or completion or suggestions or whatever. Let's just get it done. Perfect. So I've got Gemini Code Assist ready to go, but what is it exactly? Gemini, in its own words, is Google's most advanced and versatile AI model to date. What makes Gemini fun for me? The fact that it understands context, is tuned to be helpful, can parse and interpret any code I throw at it, and is ready right where I'm working with help. And because Gemini has been trained on a wide variety of code samples, and specifically focused on Google Cloud's public examples, documentation, and reference code, it's ready to help me with any cloud challenges I can toss at it. So let's get started. In order to tell Gemini I want it to spring into action, I can just place my cursor where I want it to do its magic and use Control Enter to ask for a suggestion. Behind the scenes, what happens to make the magic come to my screen? First, Gemini reads the open file to give context on the code that I might need. Gemini also knows the insertion point, the place in the file where I've asked for code to be added, so it can see the specific part I want to expand on. Gemini uses this information to generate code at the insertion point. And based on that context, it gives me suggestions to add to the file I'm in, right here, right now. Saves me time and gets me moving faster. Win-win. This is awesome. Gemini has come up with a code to speed me on my way, and I can accept it with a single press of the tab key. If I'm not clear on how some of this code works, or why it's there, I can always highlight a section and ask Gemini to explain. It will then give me a line-by-line -line breakdown of the code, detailing each argument, variable, or command. You could also summarize the whole file if I need an overview to help me digest some code base I just inherited out of nowhere. The Python code here defines a simple web application. Okay, simple for some people. It uses Flask, a common web framework, to call Gemini Pro using Vertex AI. Great start. And then it gives me even more detail, going through the portions of the code and the key statements to explain them in plain language. Perfect. Thanks to Gemini Code Assist, I wrapped up my tasks in record time. Now it's time to send off the pull request, close up the laptop, and decide what board game gets to the table tonight. Tomorrow I'm looking forward to more help from Gemini as I expand this code base. And thanks to code generation, I can spend more time on design and delight, less time on finicky syntax or argument lists. Check out the link below and you can get started today.